What's up everybody? Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today we're at the New England Reptile Expo in Manchester, New Hampshire. So this expo happens about four times a year. It's the January 5th Expo. Let's go in, let's take a look around, let's see who's there, let's see what's there, and uh, that's about it. Let's go. We're here at the Reptile Expo. All kinds of cool stuff going on. We got all kinds of good stuff. Uh, we got rodent suppliers, book suppliers, bags, reptiles everywhere, and uh, just gonna keep walking around. What you got there, Joe? A little Nicaraguan. Oh, damn, look at him go. Joe from JPC. <laughs> Say hi, Joe. Hi. Hello. serpents because we're trying to start over our collection basically but uh, I think what's that's what we're going to stick with. What's the good stuff you want to show me today? Um, well this year uh, we did a uh, Sunglow Super Kraken to a Hypo Key West and these were some of the babies from that breeding here, here, here. She's in shed unfortunately but oh, oh, these guys come on, out. I see all kinds of good stuff Ty, on this table. Ty, uh, Ty's not here. Show me the money. Show me the good stuff. Well, I mean, most of the good stuff's at home because I'm sick and I didn't feel like bringing it all with me. Oh, come on. Well, that's good stuff. This is good stuff. Yeah. That's the one that I see in the video. This is a lipstick line, Sun Glow Jungle Motley. What do you got coming up for this year's projects? Anything good? Uh, I tried to really focus on the Kraken stuff this year because, you know, everybody wants to see some normal Super Krakens, so I'm trying for that. I got some no, uh, normal Krakens paired up this year for the first time with no hypo in them. Good deal. So hopefully that pans out. Um, I do have some Super Krakens going back to other Kraken stuff. Uh, Moon Glow Krakens, working on. I like all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I like yeah, it buddy. all. Uh, I got, actually got a lot of Roswell line stuff going this year too. Yeah, any Key West stuff? I see you got some Key West stuff here. Yeah, yeah, the Key West, I only had the one original Hypo Key West female from Jeff Ronnie. Yep. Um, she went last season for me, that's what this uh, litter is from. Um, so I'm giving her the year off, nice. but I'm keeping way too many animals back from that because they're the, they're cracking Key Wests, pet for some role. And he does tattoos. I try. He tried. <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Have a good one, man. Hey, what you got going on over here? Wicked. I'm just selling so, so ball pythons like usual, you know? Ball pythons as usual. As Come usual. on, give us a little backstory. Yeah. What's that? Give us a little backstory. Who you are? I'm, I'm ML Exotics. I've been, been breeding ball pythons for about 14 years. And, and he's been like, around. I know you've been around for a long time. Yeah, been, been, been doing these shows for over 20. Uh, yeah, 20 what, years. What's your favorite one you got here today? It's our uh, favorite here today is probably a, 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 de a desert ghost hypo. Where's that? So Show me. Like, let me let me get the good like, stuff. Like just, like just a straight desert ghost hypo. Two, two, two simple recessive genes in one. You know? I like that. Matt, I appreciate it. Right. Thanks, Thanks, man. man.
Why should you buy a red Aki? Come on, give me something legal good. Legal in Massachusetts. They're legal in Massachusetts. They're awesome little monitors. Great they're monitors. Like, they're like a bearded dragon, but way smarter. Bearded dragon, way smarter. Way more friendly. Better attitudes. Awesome. And they I stay agree. small. I think they're awesome. So, well, good luck, guys. I'll see you around today. Thanks. All right, guys. There's all kinds of cool stuff here today. Uh, we're going to keep moving around, keep doing some videos, and uh, keep showing you some cool stuff. Oh my god, is that Emily? Is that Tara? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh boy. What are you guys doing here? I'm helping Rob. Helping Rob. That's it? You're just helping Rob? What are you doing here, Tara? Taking pictures. Taking pictures? She's like, don't get me on Not buying anything. Not buying. That's what I said a thousand dollars ago. I just like the head stripe on his own set. Two orange glows make for cystic, right? I think that's Rob's line. Oh, the lemon, he had orange glows and lemon glows. He also does the fruit basket. I just want it. I just need it in my life. I want that toy cobra. I'm gonna get you a little bit of it. I'm just um, super camera side. You're not on like probation or anything like no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> Snapchat, I used to do Snapchat, I'd have to do 40 edits just to say, hey, good morning everyone, it's Dustin. It's like 40 oh, edits. Yeah, so you can't do much about yeah. it. You just gotta put it out, right, Tyler? Yep. Tyler, what you got here? Bugs. Bugs. So we're with Tyler and Hannah, and they do all kinds of crazy bugs, isopods, all kinds of good stuff. What's your favorite thing you got on the table? Tyler, you start first. Right, the, the Horrid King Assassin bugs. Yeah, those, those are nightmares. I already told you that. You know, the table down there has really cute frogs. They get chubby bellies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's boring. You could have done frogs. Hannah, what's your favorite thing? That thing you're playing with, the little blue yeah, bellies? Yeah, I like the death bane beetles. What are those for? What do they do? They uh, pretty much do nothing. They can be a cleanup crew for leopard geckos. They live for a very long time. Um, they're just fun to watch. They eat anything. They, they're blue. They play dead? They play dead. They do look like blueberries. Oh, that one's not playing good. It's, it's broken. broken. It's broke. I know they can bite, but do they usually bite? They do not bite. Pretty much ever. <laughs> wow, she's good on camera. She's like ready to go. Tyler, come on, green stuff good. <laughs> I love it. All right, say goodbye. Oh, he stole Kevin's turn for that one. Dominant from Surfing by Designs. What do you got today? Give me so a little background of yourself. A lot, a lot of a lot of berms. We're trying to be diversifying with berms, ball pythons for ticks, and uh, many morphs to choose from today. What's uh, what's your favorite snake you have here? Uh, that's a loaded question. It's uh, a loaded question. I don't know. I like the hypogranites. The hypogranites. You like the hypogranites. I'm glad they don't have ears. That's why uh, nobody can hear that. I like labyrinth as well. And I'm assuming this, these pies here the are your pies, yeah. Who doesn't like the pie? Awesome. Well, thank you, Dominic. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. sir. Man, that's the man in action. Chris from Sabrina's Reptile Kingdom. The man, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. The creature from another myth. <laughs> What's your favorite thing you get on the table today, Chris? Argentine? Oh. That might be one of my favorites too. You should take it home. <laughs> no, no more, no more. JPC just hit me up for all kinds of stuff. Wow. Hey Chris, you got uh, you got your shop in Rhode Island? Yes. What's the, what's the address? 411 Broad Street, Cumberland, Rhode Island. 
Go check him out. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, what do you got on here today? What's up, man? Just a bunch of leopard geckos, actually. What's your favorite one? My favorite leopard gecko? Yeah. Which one do you like here today? You like these plastic ones? These guys are pretty cool. This guy is actually very big for not being a, not being a giant. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big ass leopard gecko. There's a pretty cool crested gecko here too. It's a Halloween. What else you breeding? I thought you breed all kinds of stuff. Yeah, just everything's breeding right now. It's in the incubator. It's, it's cooking. Good it's deal. coming. Well, where can they find you? Where can people find you? Um, I don't have a shop, but you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Royal Exotics. Royal Exotics. Yeah, I come out do shows and all that. So yes. awesome, man! I appreciate it. Look at these guys. Guess who's gonna get put on a YouTube video? D&D Exotics. D&D Exotics. Who are you guys? Come on, give me a little intro. Quality ball pythons, tortoises, tree monitors. Oh, see, he's smart. You went right in front of the D&D Exotic sign. What's your favorite thing you brought here today? Uh, the Xanta Clowns. That's pretty ridiculous. I don't even do ball pythons, but I like that one. What do you got over here? What the hell is that thing? Cinnamon Dreamsicle. Yeah. These are pretty ridiculous. I didn't even know they had one. Who's this guy? Stu. Stu? Yeah, I'm the dad. Oh, see? He's going to be Stu the dad. He's awesome. There you go. We like it. That's how I do it. I like that. They're good stuff. His dad always, he always supported him? I'm here to carry and run errands. And and that's it, and work. There you go. Did you put your dad to work? <laughs> I work with him at UPS too. Oh man, so you work for him, he works for you, it works out all right. There you go. Thanks guys. Nice to meet you. Everybody. Same, Good thanks man. What's up man? Jason. Give me a little give me a little intro. What do we got going on here? Who are you? What's your what's your what's the name? Give me it all. I'm Sean from Old Troy City Reptiles. You can check us out on YouTube. Um, we uh What do you got here today? What's your, what's your favorite thing you got going on here today? Actually believe it, believe it or not, I love this uh, banana leopard warmer and the banana chocolate uh, pastel. Um, oh, so that's why you got them close to you. Yeah, I love them. Um, this uh, crystal banana spider is, I think, is amazing. Um, and then I just, you know, I just, uh, yeah, um, like the granite cypress. I love the, I know I love the cypress sheen. Um, and what do you got going on this year for cool projects? Like, what's your favorite project you got coming this year? 100% uh, has sunsets. Um, our, um, we have a pastel and a uh, pastel lesser. 100% have puzzles. And um, uh, a banana pastel clown to uh, leopard 100% uh, head clown. And uh, we just got into a new uh, recessive project. Uh, we got it from uh, Tom Hobbins Reptiles. Uh, we got into the Monarch project. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what's um? Good deal. What's uh? So what's what's the what's how can we we find you on YouTube? It's Old Troy City Reptiles. Yes, you can check us out Old Troy City Reptiles. YouTube.com/slash Old Troy City. Just Old Troy City Reptile. Google it. Check it out. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Thank you. What's up, man? What do you got going on today? What are you selling? You're always selling the good stuff that I need. A little of everything. You know? A little of everything. Thermostats, uh, radiant heat panels, heat pads, snake hooks. Okay. A tent. Prevent the money. All the stuff you need. You guys have a website too, right? Yep, rollingjackos.com. We're here with Curtis and Jillian Nichols, Mythical Exotics. Um, what are you guys doing? What are you breeding this year? What's like the good stuff? Show me the good stuff. Uh, well, it's a bad time of the year for the good stuff. We got what's left from last season, definitely. What do you got? What's what's like the, the coolest thing that you think? Or what is your favorite the thing you have today? Thing I got here, and you're not that way. Like, uh, you know, I was definitely lying when I said I didn't have any good stuff. Because this guy, this girl, I just decided to get rid of. Kevin, he's got. This is uh, an eight ball pastel spider. 
genetic, you know what I mean? So there's actually a bunch of these. And I just love how she gets the gold. They're kind of be like hustling. the blotches of gold all along her dorsal. So it's definitely a very unique one of a kind snake. That's pretty awesome. And you guys also do rodents. These are who I get my wraps from. So do you sell to the public too? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I was, I, thought I, I was special for a minute there. I thought I was going to be like the special guy to just talk them. You're still them, but special. All right. <laughs> but pick them up. They got awesome ball pythons. They got rats and mice and all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, and bugs are making a huge, a big push towards bugs coming this way. Bugs like, bugs for like pets or for sale? Yeah. Like, I mean pets or for feeders? Uh, feeders, feeder bugs. Oh, he's got feeders. All right, thanks guys. Yep. Thank you. Good to see you. Same. Yeah, no problem. All right, everybody, we're back from the New England Reptile Expo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I just wanted to show you some of the pickups that I got. I got these guys from JPC Boas, and I realized after the fact I was watching this footage back that I didn't really get enough footage with those guys. You'll see them in the video, but I don't think it did them justice. They have some really great stuff, A-plus quality animals. And uh, so I'll show you some of the things I picked up. I got this male uh, Parahet, or I'm sorry, male Paraglow. So this is a Het Sharp, Het Bow Woman Caramel Jungle, and uh, really pretty snake. Let's zoom in on this guy so you can see it. Really, really awesome snake. So I was looking forward to getting this guy. I wasn't necessarily looking to pick anything up at the show, but I saw these and I couldn't pass up my opportunity. And then as you notice, you know, they're in water. I already have them in their quarantine phase. I don't care who this stuff comes from, it's getting quarantined. So the other one that I picked up was an adult female. This kind of goes against what I would normally do. And I know a lot of you guys have talked to me off, off Instagram, or I'm sorry, off uh, YouTube on Instagram or Facebook. And I tell you, don't buy adults. But I couldn't pass up this opportunity. I find it very difficult to find bow woman caramel stuff, at least where I am. So uh, I got this adult female bow woman caramel. I won't breed her this year. I actually did just do an ultrasound and she has some small follicles. But I'll give her a year off. I wanted to let her settle in. And she'll be going with that male that I just showed you. So really brute, really awesome snakes, beautiful snakes. And hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. Hope you appreciated the uh, some of the vendors that were there. There's so many great vendors that I got and so many others that I didn't. So if you do have interest in going to these reptile shows, they're awesome opportunities to see some really cool people, some cool animals, and uh, all this good stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Please like and subscribe as always. And I appreciate it. Thank you.